everyone, I'm Wanda and I represent Medinav. Medinav is a medical assistant that uh, aims at recreating the medical experience by digitizing patient to doctor um, interactions. The problem that we're, the main problem that we're trying to solve is the fact that 50% of the time doctors are data clerks, they just have to fill in forms. A more subtle problem that we're trying to solve is to gain access to more diversified data to be able to train actually useful AI models in medicine. How does it work? Well, we listen to patient to doctor conversations. We understand what they say. We understand the medical language. Uh, we extract symptoms, uh, medication, uh, treatment courses. We auto generate uh, the forms that they actually, that they usually create uh, by hand or in, uh, in uh, software. And at the very end, we can recommend courses of treatment, uh, dosage, or we can alert for interaction between medication. Right now, we have an English prototype, although, although our main focus is actually continental Europe, and I'll go into that a bit further. Um, currently, you can record in English medical notes, it will automatically transcribe, it will understand the medical terms, and at the very end, it will generate a hospital medical report. Uh, we are tackling two markets, the voice recognition market and the e-prescribing market. Uh, they are estimated at uh, around 30 billion US dollars by 2025. Uh, it's a highly fragmented market with no big players, especially in Europe. Uh, this is a picture that I think represents very nicely the market. So everything is focused on the US right now, also because of the language, and there's almost nothing in the EU uh, because of the language and possibly also the difference in health systems. Uh, here we have tried to position ourselves um, against the current solutions. Right now, uh, most of the transcribing solutions, let's call them like that, are focused on the US, as I said. You have then the classical uh, EHR solutions that are there for years. You have a couple of um, startups that are trying to do treatment recommendation, treatment recommendation, but not in a federated way. So not looking at uh, knowledge, local knowledge from other clinics, basically. Uh, so we have found our sweet spot in Europe, in continental Europe, um, and by federating the know-how that uh, is being gathered here by uh, hospitals, private hospitals, clinics, and so on. Our go-to-market strategy is to first contact uh, private clinics or to go through a reseller like a big pharma company. In this sense, uh, just so you know, we are only, actually we are less than two months old. Uh, the whole idea started uh, during the startup weekend. Uh, right now, we have the English prototype and we are developing a proof of concept in Romanian with a private clinic in Romania. By September, we are hoping to have an alpha version to develop more partnerships with universities, with clinics and hospitals. We have already started a discussion with the University Hospital of Basel in Switzerland. And by the end of the year, hopefully we can go into new markets like uh, Denmark or other Nordic countries that are highly digital. The team, uh, we, we are five people, very experienced in business, product, AI, and development. Uh, we, one of our co-founders is actually from Denmark, Vlad. Uh, the rest of us are located in Timisoara. All of us have worked before with startups, have built products for other startups, and we are very excited um, about the medical field and actually making a difference within the medical field. Thank you. Thank you also, thank you also to Medinaf. So right after Skill Hub, we had uh, Wanda Fiat representing uh, Medinaf. And now the time for, for questions. Please raise a hand to see uh, who wants to go first, Alex Popescu and then uh, Yako and then uh, Dani Orosh. Please go on, Alex. Hi, hi, hi Wanda, and thank you for the presentation. Uh, I want to, to, to be sure to get it right. So the first part with the registration and generating reports is clear for me understood it uh, but the second part looks like holy grail of medicine supported by ai because what i heard there is uh, you enabling doctors 
to generate treatment, even correcting uh, medication based on the data. And uh, based on my experience, this is requiring a huge among us data. Otherwise, you might not uh, you might not uh, have the the, the right uh, the right answer. Uh, thank you. Well, um, what we're trying to do is through federated learning. Uh, should I explain federated learning or should I just... Uh... Let's oh, take no, no. some other questions. Maybe this will come from uh, the others' questions as well. Uh, but we do thank to, to Alex for, for his uh, feedback, for, for his input on this. They're well, in, uh, well known what's happening in the medtech world. Uh, let's take a question from uh, Dan Orosh and then uh, we move on to, to Yako and to the others. Please, uh, Dan. Yeah, thank you very much for your pitch. Uh, my question is related to your business model, like how how are you thinking of uh, generating revenue and who's the main customer who's going to pay for it? Because I saw a lot of stakeholders like pharma and hospitals, universities and so forth. Well, uh, basically it's software as a service and uh, mostly private clinics or hospitals are going to pay for it if we are looking at markets as Romania and Switzerland. Okay, thank you. Let's take the question from uh, Jaco and please raise a hand uh, to see who uh, will go next. Thank you, Jaco. The floor is yours. Yeah, are you uh, going towards uh, just uh, sort of uh, cross-linking medications uh, to detect uh, problems or are you actually going towards also treatment advice? So it's, it's mostly treatment advice and um, the alert of a possible interaction between medication. Basically, if in, in a, the case of COVID, uh, you want to prescribe uh, hydroxychloroquine and azitrox, you should be alerted that the QT intervals have to be uh, measured. This is an example. Uh, treatment recommendation, a federated treatment recommendation could be saying, hey, um, within this country or within this region um, and this profile, uh, this treatment plan was the most successful. If so then you you have a link uh, a link with Watson or something like that or no 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 we we don't need Watson uh, we can do it if we have more clinics we just federate the experience from those clinics this is uh, ah this so is you the don't idea. Yes, ah, you don't use big data you just use your customers it exactly it depends on how much data they have you don't need big data if you do it in this way and this is definitely smarter because it's localized. A lot of the diseases are localized, to be frank. And, so and, you are and as good as your clients? It could be also like that, but you can also, you can also add uh, know-how from uh, clinical trials or big data or whatever, so it can be combined. It doesn't I would have to strongly be advise to get together. more than just your customers, because otherwise in the beginning you have no value. Yes, but it's it's not long. It's not only having more than your customers. Imagine that uh, it's all of your customers combined. Different hospitals, different clinics. Maybe yeah. you you have very good researchers at a University Hospital of Basel, but someone from Romania could also benefit from that without actually breaching any patient to doctor. Um, confidentiality or anything since it's as better. we're getting close to the end of the Q&A okay. for you let's take out uh, Carmen's question uh, and if we have time we'll take one more question Carmen yeah my question um, is exactly um, related to the regulations so I guess that you I think that the, the domain is highly regulated and I don't know I don't know if you are able to uh, to do that cost cross countries and have access to, to data uh, which it's kind of private at the end of the day um, yes but there there is already a project that is called melody it's a big project across european countries that is funded by the european union the whole idea is to do it in a federated way which means uh, going training a model uh, in a clinic and only taking back numbers that do not mean anything. That's actually the way you can do it. And that is the only way. And they, are, they, they allow you to take that, the, the clinic would, would allow you to take the, the, uh, the data which are probably anonymized and to use them? You don't Let's have a short answer on this because we're yes. close to the end. We, we don't take any data. We learn something there and we only take back numbers. So uh, they, they would only benefit from, uh, from uh, this.